So today we're going to be looking at my Titan throughout all the seasons. The main difference with this one and the Hunter video is the fact that there's one armor set missing, which is the Season of Menagerie. I didn't do a video for my hunt, my Titan and Warlock, which is unfortunate because I remember liking them. But that's fine. We'll uh, we'll just carry on without it. But if you guys do like the video, if you guys get inspired by some of the outfits I, I show you guys, let me know in the comments below. Subscribing also helps a ton. But let's get right into it. So first and foremost, this is how I looked in Shadowkeep. It's the Crucible Vermilion, which is the actual shader from that season. And I looking like honestly making these videos is pretty funny because looking back at this armor, I'm just like, why did I think this was good? But it's also one of those like things where a lot of these armor pieces are like my I wouldn't say bread and butter, but more of a like a the comfort armor sets for me. So like the Phoenix Strife Type O for me is such a a comfort armor. And when I say comfort armor, I mean armor that I really use a lot. Like this this particular uh, the Devastation Complex armor is definitely an armor set that I can use literally any piece I want from it. Aside from maybe the maybe the arms are like probably the the one that I'm like not the biggest fan of but <clears throat> this one is definitely like something i will will always wear it will always have on my titan because i love the devastation uh complex armor set it's one of my favorites if not my favorite armor sets from destiny 2 for the titans but i was using this one because i didn't think i, I didn't think i have the devastation complex at the time and i still think looks this looks really cool same goes for the sunbreaker plate it's one of my favorites and it's definitely a comfort armor it's definitely an armor set that i go back to a lot because it just looks really good and this one used to be a comfort armor but i've haven't used it in a while mostly because it's, uh i think this helmet goes really well with like very regal armor very like <clears throat> like royalty i guess you would say and then for the mark I don't even remember why I use this if I'm being quite honest it's not one of my favorites it's definitely not even one I use anymore like so this one kind of surprised me when I saw the picture of it considering again I I've, I've never used this now or after so that's pretty much it for a season of opulence it's definitely one of my favorite sets or season of actually technically shadow keep and season of the undying but it's definitely cool. Uh, it's pretty funny to me because, uh, again, Sunbreaker play and Phoenix Strife are definitely pieces that I have used a lot in the past and still use to this day. And I'm really happy that I made the new rule where after each expansion, I can reuse pieces because I've come up with some really cool Ursa Furiosa armor sets, and I'm really excited to use this. So let's get on with the next one, which is Season of Dawn. And for Season of Dawn, we have the Helm of Saint-14. This is definitely one of, probably one of my favorites as well. Uh, I say as well, the last one was not my favorite at all, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. I could probably change the arms to make them more look look a little bit more regal, something like this maybe would be way, but yeah, that's actually way cooler. Uh, but yeah, I've, this is what I've been, where the hell, this one right here. This is what I used during that season. I didn't want to use the helmet or the chest piece because for for specifically the Season of Dawn ornaments, the Virtuous Armor set, because I didn't want to use it so fast because it's chest piece is definitely one of my favorite uh, plates from Titans. And the helmet is also one of my favorites from the Virtuous set. So I was deciding to like go for a Saint-14 look because obviously Saint-14 was when he got reintroduced if I remember correctly. and. I think I think my Titan looks super dope. I think on a male Titan it look even more bulky, but I like, like I said, I like pretty much everything aside from like the arms and maybe the chest piece, because I feel like the legs make make her look very regal, and with the mark it also just adds to that. And obviously since I can't change the color of the feathers, I had to go for a purple, which I'm actually loving this. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it, the yellow is just, I would have chosen another color for for this shader, but I'm, I still vibe with it. It's still such a good armor set for me. So again, like if I were to change it up, I'd most likely switch to like either this one. I don't have it. I don't have it bought yet, but 
this one let me see no i'm actually too small it would have to go it would have to be the other one then yeah yeah this one right here just because i feel like this just looks so cool but the other problem is there's a lot of silver in this and like nothing at the bottom aside from right here so like i would have to even it out so that's probably why i probably wouldn't use that i said probably a lot but i would most likely that's the thing it's like something like this maybe i actually don't hate this but i do hate the the shoulders in general i think the the weird shape is just dumb but i i am posting like all of the old armor sets like before and after on my instagram and i'll probably post them on my my twitter so if you guys want to follow me through there and see like the armor sets that are from the past and then my reimagined ones then definitely follow me on on those the links are in the description below but let's get on with the next season which should be season of the worthy for season of the worthy we have the insurmountable skull fort uh this is probably one of my favorite armor sets i've done i actually like legit this is probably my favorite mostly because i've come up with an armor set that has almost no armor if any like aside from like maybe this and like this big thing here and then the helmet itself other than that like there's no armor on her this would be like her casual look which is what i dubbed it like this is my uh casual titan where she's just walking through the tower doing like menial shit that's the, like how i dubbed her and it still to this day is like one of my crowning achievements just because it's so cool like the fact that she has no armor the fact that she just looks really chill i would definitely want to see this on a on a male titan just to see how it like translates but on a female it looks super cool it legitimately looks like she's just going out to like chill with her friends uh if i were to like modernize it it would definitely be along the lines of like this right here <clears throat> let's put another helmet on uh this one right here and the funny thing too is that like a lot of things would change about it so like the helmet would change actually just the helmet and the, another exotic and then just literally any shader that i really care about because it goes well with either or like something like this uh definitely not i mean shader looks pretty cool but no so you get the drift like basically this helmet with these exotics and i feel like this this looks super cool definitely like the black sheep of titans where it's like oh i don't want to wear a lot of uh like plate armor and whatnot so this is definitely one of my favorites and uh, this is probably what i'm going to post on my instagram and twitter because this is like legit how i usually put her now because i do like these exotics so let me know your thoughts in the comments below we're going to go on to the next season which be which is season of the rivals so i'll be right back for season three arrivals we have doomfang pauldrons this one kind of hurts when i saw it because i was like man this could have been really useful in season of the hunt because if you guys don't know season of the hunt the ornaments for that season was cabal themed which is what the arms are uh it's not that big a deal because i am resetting the whole thing so i will eventually be able to use these again but not gonna lie this one was very random for me i was just kind of like i i'm just gonna post whatever because I, I didn't have a build at the time or at least like a setup that i actually really enjoyed so this one is kind of like it kind of hurts to see this one particularly because i knew this one wasn't gonna be uh you know it wasn't gonna be something that was gonna be good for like this is basically like my whatever gear like this is what i'm wearing right now and i didn't try that season for my titan unfortunately just because like there wasn't there wasn't anything that i really wanted and had on me because this was before uh actually fuck this i'm gonna do this all over this is first and for season of the arrivals we have doomfang pauldrons this one is i'm not gonna lie to you guys this one was just like put together and it was just not the greatest in my opinion uh not only that, but I should have waited for literally the next expansion, which was Beyond Light, because Season of the Hunt was also part of that. And if you guys don't know, Season of the Hunt had Cabal-themed armor, so that would have been really good to pair with these exotics, because if you don't know, this is Cabal-themed. So, yeah, overall, this is definitely not my favorite armor set that I've done, like, at all, considering this was just, like, ram ramshack together by just, like, whatever, like, I had. And also, you gotta remember, guys, that a lot of a lot of the old stuff 
pre Beyond Light. If you guys are wondering, like, man, this guy like is using a lot of like Eververse stuff, it's because that was the only way we had Transmog at the time. So that's why there is a lot of Eververse. But now that we don't have that, there's going to be a lot more variety. So if I had to update this armor set, it would definitely be along the lines of putting either the chest piece. Definitely not the helmet. I think uh, I think this helmet is completely fine. The the one from this one, just because it is Cabal themed. Like basically, just going all in with Cabal. Like that's probably what I would do. But it's pretty hard because the only good Cabal set is the the Leviathan one. I don't I don't like the other ones like I like at all. So this one I haven't like completely made up my mind what I would do with it. But I do have builds with like this chat with with this ornament and then the default ornament so those aren't really hard to like uh do with like those th these two are pretty easy to do like armor sets with it's this one that kind of like gives me problems sometimes just because there's not a lot of cabal themed anything so that's pretty much it for season of the arrivals let's go on to, let's go to beyond light and for Beyond Light slash Season of the Hunt, we have Mask of the Quiet one. This one actually, I didn't put much thought into this one as well, but I actually did like how it came out. Just because I wanted to really lean into the, the shoulders. So if you guys don't know, the shoulders are the Forbidden vis vis Visage or whatever you say it. The, right, this right here actually does not change color, unfortunately. So I did want to like shader around that. Which, thankfully, I did find a pretty good shader for it, which is the Dawning Celebration. Uh, as you guys can see, it doesn't change color, so you definitely want to uh, revolve around like this, this this type of coloring, and I think it came out really well. Uh, if I had to like modernize it, I'd probably change the boots to like something else, maybe like this one, but that actually goes with the top one, so I probably wouldn't wear that. Uh, maybe this again, like this is the hard part about like redesigning an, an old armor set that I made is just like what would you look good with like this doesn't look good it's like I said if you guys follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram you definitely will see them being updated because that's what I plan to do but yeah I don't I don't know what I would do for this one because I don't want to put a lot of plate I would love to see like maybe something like this where there's cloth so that way it actually looks a lot better like that actually looks really good i would probably wear that actually and then maybe maybe a different um mark just because again like something like this would look cool but i'm like already at that point where i'm wearing basically what i was wearing in season of the dawn i think season of dawn yeah so it would just be the arm like literally everything the waist down is literally that so let me know your thoughts and comments below. This one is definitely like a f like a cool one that I made just because I, this one was definitely something I was experimenting stuff with because I'm not one to be using like these legs. I don't particularly love these legs, but I think I pulled it really well with this one just because at the time I really liked uh, the fact that the lines were here and then for me like there's more lines here. So that's pretty much why I got those boots because like, oh, there's lines there. So that's pretty much it next one is gonna be season of the chosen and for season of the chosen we have curious of the falling star this is definitely almost one of my favorites the only reason i say almost is because i definitely think there's something missing so obviously i'm trying to go for like an like an eastern asian i guess you would say like because like this is definitely like mongolian at least i feel like it's mongolian themed uh Obviously, the mark is from that season, season of the Chosen, and for the arms, this is actually season two of Iron Banner, if I remember correctly. So, I don't think it's bad. I just definitely think there's something odd about it. Uh, I definitely think the helmet may or may not be the best. Although, like the helmet on the top, just it reminds me of like like emperors with their like crazy ass head design and whatnot. So, like that's why I went with it, but. This is definitely like one that I was just like, this looks cool, but like it definitely could be better if I had more Japanese or like Mongolian, whatever, eat like Asian themed armor for the arms, I think would be way better. But like this one is just, I don't personally, I don't like it. I feel like I definitely need something bulkier. And then this one is just like kind of gross to me. 
like not like like this is definitely like fucking like asian themed but it looks gross in my head i don't know why so that really mar that really just leaves me with just those two because this is definitely not japanese inspired at least i don't think it is but even then it's too small so this is like my problem when it comes to like <laughs> making armor designs is the fact that like i have to work with i have with what i have so i'd probably do something like this but even then it just looks gross this i thought about because it is definitely like no like you guys see my problems just way too fucking big i'm sh all shoulders at that point so like maybe I, th I did think about putting this on but i was like eh, i don't know if it would work actually was it out even out yeah it was so like this one's pretty hard i don't know why i like that but i like that but even then like this one this one's definitely going to be a challenge to like modernize even although i probably won't modernize it uh we'll see we'll see so yeah let me know your thoughts and comments below do you guys have any suggestions for these for these shoulders i'm pretty much just like i don't know what i'm gonna do with them essentially so let's get on with the final season well i say final but like we still have the current season so i'll be right back and for season of the splicer we have the ashen wake it's one of my favorite exotics in the game for titans just because it makes fusion grenades just that much more fun and honestly this is obviously you're gonna chess piece it's it's the same as as that one season it really isn't because it's this is the devastation complex armor set which the other one was the pvp one even though at that point i'm very i'm being very technical because both armors are li literally the same aside from like the fur on the complex are is just way bigger i mean for the pvp one it just stops right here so you're getting a lot more but this like i said the devastation complex is a is a comfort armor for me it's definitely like one of the armor sets where it's my go-to if i'm just trying to look cool uh same thing with the forged machinist machinist uh machinist there we go <laughs> forged machinist greaves it's definitely one of my bread and butter ones that i use as well and then uh same thing go for same thing goes for the bullet smith's iron mark it's definitely one of my favorites as well so the other one like the only one that's not like one that i use a lot is this one this one's definitely like one i use only if i'm like in a weird mood or like if i just if i just want to use it this one would probably be a good contender for the agent themed armor set but i don't know but this is definitely definitely my favorite armor set and it's definitely one of my sets that i always wear because i do use ash and wakes a lot like a stupid amount actually but let me know your thoughts this is definitely my favorite aside from the no armor one that one is also like super my favorite like immediately my favorite <laughs> not gonna lie guys and then we'll go on to my last one and then i'll give you my final thoughts so last but not least we have season of the lost this is the armor set that i currently have on my titan so far and it's pretty funny because i'm i'm actually using crest of alpha luffy a lot a lot more just because of the fact that i made this armor set and let's let's get something out of the way first it's pretty cool because i ended up getting a shout out from muffin band if you guys know him, he's a really cool uh youtuber that does a lot of fashion videos and it meant the world to me that he did that because I, I i don't feel the most confident when it comes to my armor sets i'm not gonna lie to you guys uh most of the time it's it's one of those like i feel like i only think it looks cool so when he said he, that he thought mine looked really cool aside from the mark which i do i do agree it's very very angular i guess or very sharp compared to everything else when he said that i inspired him it kind of it really it, it was the jump i needed to like really start doing fashion like take it really really serious to the point where like i'm gonna be making more fashion videos i'm gonna be posting more fashion like pictures on my instagram and twitter so that is definitely the push i needed and i have a lot of armor sets that i've been going through just from the past and whatnot so like if i were to change the mark which i still like this i still think it looks really good with it but if i were to change it i would definitely go like along the lines of something that's still like small you definitely don't want something too big uh, i would do this but unfortunately it's not the same gold like you guys can already see it from here this one has a, a much yellow glow and this is a much more desaturated gold so this is definitely things you have to think about before 
combining golds. I was thinking about doing this one for a little while, but unfortunately, I think the asymmetrical look at the at the back just does not go well. And this is actually yellow, not gold. I know it's a small thing, but I it it's one of those things that if I notice it, it's gonna bug me. Like it, unfortunately, I was thinking about this one though. This one was definitely something that I was thinking about, but again, it's the fact that it's not even. So then I did think, well, you know, you could do the other one, this one, but the rope was pretty much throwing me off a bit. I was like, it's too much rope. I don't like it at all. So at that point, I'm doing off this off the fly as well. So this one, I actually did think about this one as well, but if it, if it didn't have the purple and if it didn't look like, you know, it was fucking breaking up like away, then I would definitely use it, but if I were to really choose, I was thinking about this one too, but I don't think, I don't think it goes well with this one. Not, I don't think it goes well with this one at all. Uh, something like this one, this one, maybe even though I'm saying like, it's pretty funny. I say the, the asymmetrical look, even though the one that I had on it is only on one side, that's fine. But actually, you know what? Fuck it. I think, I think this one. I think this one does look like the best because the gold is actually spot on. The gold is pretty spot on. So this one would probably be the, the new one that I would put just because I do think it looks a lot better. It does match everything a lot better. And then you're basically at this point, you're basically using Solstice of Heroes armor. So that's pretty funny. So yeah, let me know what your, what your thoughts in the comments below are. Uh, Muffin, if you see this, thank you for the shout out. I re really appreciate it. Can't wait to see more of your content and guys. Like, commenting, subscribe really does help the channel grow. I will be posting a lot more stuff in the future about fashion. So if you guys would like the fashion in Destiny 2, that would make sense actually considering my videos, my highest videos are fashion related. So be safe and I will see you guys later.